Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and uh, we're getting back into uh, a, psalm a, de, a psalm or two a day. And today we're going over Psalms 42, so let's get into it. Um, it says, The heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O Yehuda. So, David has a thirst for the Most High. He is very much dehydrated <laughs> after the Most High. That is his pleasure. That's his desire. That's his delight. It says, My soul thirsteth for Elohim, for the living Elohim. When shall I come and appear before Elohim? So he's like, Hey, Most High, when am I going to uh, be able to stand and be in your presence? <laughs> I'm thirsting after your rivers of living water. You know, how long? <laughs> when can I bathe in your presence, in your love, in your majesty? He says, my tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, where is thy Elohim? So he was crying so much, that was literally his portion, his uh, food, <laughs> day and night. Because his enemies, the naysayers, the haters, you know, you, you always got a hater section, uh, are continually saying, yo, where's your Elohim? I thought he was going to save you, you know. You always boasting and bragging and, and singing praises to him. Where is he now? <laughs> Where is he when you need him? <laughs> when I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. So he would leave nothing left crying out to the Most High. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of Elohim with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Right? So he was in the congregation and he would be crying out, you know, supplicating out to the most high, leaving nothing. Always with that what that voice of joy and praise. <laughs> Make a cheerful noise unto the Lord, right? <laughs> While, why art thou cast down, O my soul? So wait, he talking to himself? I says to myself, self, myself says what? You, you see what I'm saying? David understands sometimes you got to talk, you got to talk to yourself. Sometimes you got to speak some, some sense to yourself. He says, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Another question. Like, so why are you so why are you going through this why why are you so um vexed right now <laughs> uncomfortable anxious nervous why is there so much anxiety in you body you know my soul <laughs> hope thou in elohim for i shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance so no matter what he's going through because he's asking like hey man when am i gonna be able to stand before your presence i'm thirsting after your rivers of living water, you know. Um, why are you so down? <laughs> why are you so depressed? Why are you so uncomfortable? Um, but he said, I'm going to praise you in advance because I know that you are my deliverer. You are my savior. I know um, that you are my protector. I know that you are my Abba. You are my father. I know that you are a provider. I know that you are a way maker. He says, O oh my Elohim, my soul is cast down within me. So, like, it's down. Like, he's really low right now. His soul is it's just, it's in a pit, it's in a rut. And we all go through ruts. But you have a pay or a pa'a, which is your mouth. And you have to use that to get your deliverance. You got to cry out to the Most High. You got to let the Most High know what you're going through, even though He knows. But He wants to see if you really trust in Him or if it's just lip service in front of people hmm? he says oh my Elohim my soul is cast down within me therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hermian, Hermonites from the hill Mitzah deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts all thy waves and thy billows are gone over me then he says, yet Yahuwah will command his loving kindness in the daytime. 
and in the night time, or and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the Elohim of my life. So no matter what, so he was just talking, first he was talking to the Most High, when can I come before your presence? Then he had to start talking to himself because he realized that his soul, his mind, was uncomfortable, was confused, was going through torment. Um, then he's letting his mind and his body know, well, I'm going to go ahead and praise the Most High in advance because just his countenance, just his aura will change the situation, will heal me. Right? And then he's talking about from deep into deep and then from, from, from this mountain to another mountain or from this hill to another hill. And then he talks about what? That the Most High will command his loving kindness even in the daytime. And in the nighttime, then he starts talking about this song will be with him. Because remember, this is a new song that's with him. Because now his eyes and his ears have been opened. Now he understands certain things. Now he understands that uh, blood sacrifice and offerings was not required. <laughs> it wasn't required. So with this new song, he's going to sing the praises to the Most High. He's going to make a joyful noise unto Yahuwah, all you lands. He's going to serve him with gladness and come before his presence with singing. <laughs> He's going to come before his presence with singing. And my prayer unto the Elohim of my life, because that's who he is. I will say unto Elohim, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Because he, like, he talks to him like he's a father. Hey, hey Pops, what, what, why, are you, uh, why are you slacking on me? Why you why you throw me to the side? Why don't you answer when I'm calling? Why you keep hitting the ignore button? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Why am I going through all this alone? You know what these enemies are trying to do to me? And if I die, who's going to make your name known? Who's going to sing praises unto you? Like We got to get to the point where we, where we actually have a father-son or father-daughter relationship with the Most High. I'm telling you, because David would keep it a buck fifty with the Most High. And he says, as with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me, because that sounds like it hurt. So with them national teeth are talking crazy, it's like a sword or like a shank in his bone. Reproach me. While they say daily unto me, where is thy Elohim? Hey, yo, where, where, where your power at? <laughs> You need them right now, don't you? You see, we didn't all gather together and we're going to talk that talk around you right now. Where are you at? <laughs> Why hasn't he manifested this deliverance for you? <laughs> then he says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Because he's still talking to himself. You've got to win the war, uh, the battle of the mind. Because if you don't, uh, with MK Ultra, with MK Search, with MK Delta, with MK Naomi, with MK Chickwit, <laughs> with MK Often, with the, with the CIA, with the Army, with the Navy, um, and with the FDA, who's the one running all these different uh, mind control operations right now, the enemy, Satan, the devil, will control your mind if you're not. David knows that he cannot let his mind or his soul win. <laughs> David knows what it means to have a sound mind, and how to operate it, how to fight with it. His mind is too important because he knows this. So he has to keep asking himself these questions to bring him back to remembering the Most High and his graciousness and his mercy which endureth forever. He says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? Hope thou in Elohim, for I shall yet praise Elohim. Him, no matter what you're going through, you gotta praise it out. <laughs> you gotta praise out the circumstance. Sometimes you gotta hit them with the with the Hezi or the Hezekiah prayer to give yourself 15 or a number of more years or, or time frames or whatever the case is, whatever the battle is that you're going through. David had to talk to his own soul. He had to commune upon his own bed. Why art thou cast down on my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in Elohim, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance. Because Yahuwah, uh, the Most High, 
is a healer. In Hebrew, the word is Rapha. Rapha, he is a healer. So, who is the health of my countenance and my Elohim. And above him, there is no other. You got to talk to yourself. You got to win the battle of the mind. You got to focus on a sound mind. You got to understand what the principles of a sound mind are. And you got to realize, because <laughs> why do you think the Bible says that we battle not against flesh, uh, flesh and blood? Because even though David's enemies are coming against him, right? It's not a physical coming against him. It's a verbal. Well, every word that comes out of your mouth, right? You know, by your words, you will be what? Justified. But every word that comes out of your mouth is actually spiritual. So it was a spiritual battle. And so you got these doubts, these haters feeding your doubts. We got to start starving those doubts out and start feeding our faith. But you've got to talk to yourself. <laughs> Again, you've got to commune upon your own bed. And no matter what you're going through, you got to talk to your, your, your spiritual ruach and you got to tell them, like, hey, no matter what I'm going through, I, uh, for I shall yet praise him. I'm going to praise him anyway. I'm going to give him um, this free will offering, the sacrifice of praise. I'm going to praise him in advance, as the song says, because he is the health of my countenance. And he is my Elohim. He's my father. He's my creator. He's my provider. He's my protector. He's my redeemer, my kinsman redeemer. He is all in all. His ways are above my ways, but he loves me because I am a son. And I know my Nahala. I know my inheritance. Again, we got to understand our inheritance. That's why you have to win the war in the mind so you can actually be be the meek or become the son or become the daughter and inherit the earth. That is your nahala. That is your inheritance. But you got to be willing to fight. Because it's not against flesh and blood. And in the end, the saints take the kingdom. And your kingdom is in your mind. Even when you take the kingdom physically, you still got to, you first got to take the kingdom mentally. And anything mental or spiritual. We got to start putting things together. So again, this is Yaki Huda from Yah's Assembly. Uh, this was Psalms 42. Uh, Father, we just want to say thank you for Yahushua Hamashiach, our Savior, um, our kinsman, Redeemer. Uh, we just want to say you, let Yahuwah be magnified. Um, we just want to say you are the, the first and the last, your Alpha and the Omega, Father. We just want to ask for the forgiveness of our sins, Father, which outnumber the hairs on our head, Father. Um, we thank you for your mercy, which endured forever. We thank you for forgiving our ancestors, Father. We thank you for leading us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. We thank you for your mercy, which endured forever, Father. We thank you for your mercy, which endured forever. We thank you for your mercy, which endured forever. And we want to send uh, your health and your favor to all of your people that are called by your name, um, Father. And we just want to send them love and health and prosperity and favor, Father. Protect us all. Keep us all, Father. Like, give us your revelations, Father. Give us your truth, Father. Um, have mercy upon us, Father. And show us the way. Allow us to be the perfect beacons and mirrors of your light, Father. Help us to awaken this awakening, Father, so that our lights can shine, Father. It's high time, Father. All these things, Father. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, Amen. This is Yehuda, Yaz Assembly. Salama. Whoa.